Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicola from nicolatweed.com and on today's tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Cadence and Pods to create a really awesome directory listing layout. So I was pretty excited when I got this email on Thursday last week from Cadence saying that the Cadence Blocks Pro now supports Pods. And I've been using Pods for a really awesome time along with Beaver Builder. And I recently created this really awesome dynamic layout for a client of mine. They wanted a directory kind of a functionality on their website with a directory archive page and a directory single page and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to try and recreate the same thing using the Cadence theme pods which is free, Cadence Blocks, Cadence Blocks Pro and the Cadence Theme Pro plugin. Okay so with the Cadence Pro theme plugin we're going to be using the hooks element to um, create these element templates for the directory listing pages. Okay, so let's dive right on in. And what I have is a fresh, clean installation of WordPress. And I'm going to start off by, of course, installing the Cadence theme. So let's go to themes, add new, and we are going to find Cadence here and we're going to install and we are going to activate this theme. Now Cadence is my personal favorite WordPress theme. I've created lots of templates using Cadence and I do use it for all my clients. Now if you want to learn more about Cadence be sure to check out my channel. I've done heaps more videos on Cadence. So we've installed Cadence. Next step is to install all the plugins we're going to use in order to achieve this directory listing layout. So let's go to plugins. Let's click on add new. First one is pods. So let's explain pods is a really great free plugin that helps you create custom content types. It's quite like advanced custom fields. Um, so you create kind of a, a custom fields and then you'll link them up using um, the cadence hooks element. So we've installed and we're going to activate this plugin. So it's the pods custom content types and fields plugin. So let's click activate. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the cadence blocks plugin. Let's type in cadence blocks. And this is the one here. So Gutenberg blocks by cadence blocks. We'll install that and we will activate that. Okay, so the next two plugins are pro plugins. So let's come to plugins, add new. So you will need to pay for these plugins in order to achieve this layout. I do highly recommend you purchase these plugins. They are really awesome plugins and you can do so much for with them. So you can either pay a yearly license or you can do a lifetime license. So first is the Blocks Pro. So we're going to activate that plugin. And then we're going to add the next one, which is our, let's just upload here. It's our Cadence Pro plugin. So this is for our theme. So let's install and activate that plugin. Now, next step is to ensure that you have put in your license code for both of these plugins um, and make sure that they are up to date. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've gone ahead, I have activated both of those plugins. So the next step is to actually create that custom content type using pods. So let's come to pods here on the left hand side and click add new. So pods is a bit like advanced custom fields. Um, I've been using it for the longest time ever with Beaver Builder and I absolutely love it. So we're going to be creating a new custom post type. We're not going to be extending blog posts and we're not going to be extending pages. So the first thing we do is we click on create new. We're then going to put in the singular label, which is directory listing. And then we're going to put in the plural label, which is your archive and that is directory. And then you're going to click next step. Okay, so this is where you're going to start putting in all the fields that make up the single directory listing. So for example, if we're looking at our example, we've got the business name, some content, some images, and details about the address, telephone number, website, and a map. So what we're going to do is click on add field, and in the label, we're going to type in business name, and the field type is plain text. 
Now, if you click on the drop down, you'll see a whole range of field types that you can choose from depending on the type of content that you need added to your custom post type. So ours is plain text and I'm going to click save new field. Then I'm going to add description and I'm going to make this a bit longer text. So that's going to be with the visual editor and I'm going to click save new. Then what we need is a gallery. So this is field type is image. And then here on the left, we're just going to change a couple of settings to make sure that we can upload multiple files. And then we're going to click save. Then we're going to click add field. We're going to do address. It's also plain text, uh, telephone number. Also plain text. If you want, you can change that to a number or etc. So plain number. I'm going to leave it as plain text and then I'm going to add in websites and the field type for website is website and I'm going to just go to the left. There's a couple of website options that we do want to change. So it's website options here and the formatting. I like to change it to this, which is pretty simple. Um, it just looks better on the front end. And then I'm going to output it as a link. So I'm going to tick, tick, yes. And then I'm going to open the link in a new window. And then I'm going to click save new field. Now we're going to add in opening times. And that is a visual editor. And then last one is map. Now maps a little bit complicated. What we do is we set it up as an HTML content. Okay. Um, and let's just make that we're going to go to the HTML content options. We are going to disable the form label and check that click save field. Um, and then we're just going to leave it as that. And then I'll show you what we do need to do in order to get that map to work. So let's save the pod. So once we've successfully saved the pod, added all our fields, we'll now see directory here on the left hand side. So we can go ahead and start adding new directory listings. However, there's two things we want to do beforehand, and that's to come to this advanced options tab. And we do want to enable an archive page. So tick this box and then scrolling down, we do want it to support a featured image for the archive page. So let's save the pod. Now we're going to come to directory and we're going to add a new directory item. Now, when you click on add directory, it kind of looks like a blog post. You've got your title. So let's just call it Nicola Tweed. We're putting in a listing for my business. And if you want to, you can write in some text there, but that's not necessary for now. So business name is NT web design, website design. Um, and then we can put in a description in here etc etc and then we're going to add files so you can either go upload files from your computer or you can go to media library see if there's anything there there's nothing there at the moment so i'm going to go to my desktop and just add these three images which are images of my cadence um templates so i've added those files in and then i'm going to put in a template address and a fake phone number and then copy my URL for my website and post paste it in there. Then I'm going to put my opening times. And now you might notice that the map is not working. So let's just leave it at that. I will come back to it. So we're going to come here to set featured image and I'm going to choose a different image. Let's choose this one and let's set the featured image. Okay, cool. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's move myself out of the way. I'm just going to move myself out of here and then I'm going to publish this listing. Now I've published the listing. Let's have a look at it. Oh, not working. Okay. So this is now where the cadence pro theme comes in hand and this is where we're going to use the hook elements. So next step is to come here to your dashboard and come to appearance and then cadence and make sure your license key has been um, uploaded. And then you're going to come to your pro add-ons and toggle the hooked elements. You can either click on customize now, or you can refresh the page. If you refresh the page, you'll see elements here on the left-hand side. So we're going to click on elements and we're going to start creating a template for our single directory listings. 
So we'll come up at the top here, click Add New, and we're going to click Template. So let's call this template the Single Directory Listing Template. Okay, you can name this whatever you want. No one's going to see it. Obviously, name it something that is easy to refer back to. Next step is to assign this template to a part on your website. So you're going to come here to the top right, click on Element Settings, and under Placement, you're going to click on that drop down. You're going to click on Replace Single Post Content. And under Display Settings, we're going to make sure that is set to your single directory. And then under here, under User Settings, Visible for All Users. Okay, let's save that as a draft. And now we can start working on our template and adding in that dynamic content. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a row with two columns. Let's just um, make this one a bit smaller. In there, we're going to add in um, the advanced text, which is the business name. And we are using Cadence Blocks and Cadence Blocks Pro to achieve this. If you're not familiar with using Cadence Blocks, I do have many other tutorial guides on my channel which walk you through um, using Cadence Blocks and getting really com confident using those. So now when you use a Cadence Blocks, you'll see this little icon which is your dynamic content icon. So you're going to click on that. You're going to click on the drop down. You're going to scroll down to where it says Post Custom Field. And then you're going to choose your custom field, which is your business name. And you're going to add that dynamic content. Now you might notice it says no content and it's really difficult to build out a template when you have no content. So what I like to do is come back to this element settings, come to preview settings and change it to directory and select the post I would like to work with. So let's choose that and that should change. If it doesn't change, then obviously there is no content in my directory listing. So let me just publish this and then refresh it. That might help and it might pull through the right content. If it doesn't, um, don't worry, I don't know why it's not pulling through content. So like that. Close. It doesn't seem to be working. Oh, well, let me just carry on and then we'll view the directory listing in a moment. So the next thing we want is another row. Um, and in that row, we would like two columns. Now, you might be wondering, where am I getting this layout from? Remember, I showed you this in the beginning. So what we've got is two columns here with a featured image, a gallery and some text. So let's build that out. So let's change this. Let's add in the gallery first dynamic we'll enable our dynamic gallery and then we'll come here and we'll click on this make sure it's post custom field and under custom field we're going to choose gallery okay great then in this box here we want some advanced text and let's just make that paragraph text we're going to click on this add the dynamic content again which is your description and add the dynamic content. Okay, so once that has been done, let's add a row. Okay, here's the row. And I just wanna do one thing using the list view. It's sometimes easier to use the list view. So I wanna put this row in this section here. So not that one, I want it to be in, oh no, it's gone in there. Uh, yeah, that's right. That is the right one. So I do want it in there. Okay. Um, okay, there's our row. And this is when we can start adding the details. So we've got details, a little line, and then the information. So we're going to click on this and we're going to do advanced text, write in details. And let's add another one, which is your spacer divider. Make it 100% make the height about six and if we want we can just change the color to something like that okay so now after that we're going to start adding in some dynamic content so uh, advanced text and then the paragraph and then we're going to say our address and pull in some dynamic content and let's make that bold Okay, and I just want to move this into the correct place. 
So make that an A. Let's move it into this row. Okay, and then to make life easier, I'm just going to use the duplicate. So let's duplicate it three or four times. There we go. And the next is telephone number. We're going to change that to telephone number and update the content. And then this is website. And then this is opening times. And again, update the content opening times okay so the last thing we want to do is add in some dynamic html so there is our dynamic html um there we go and what we want to do is come here and then once we've got dynamic html selected we're going to come to the side and html content goes down okay we need to do post custom field and then we need to find map if you can't find map on there um, you do need to change a few things and then we'll find map and then we have to change it again okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to update this for now and show you what it looks like on a listing so here's my listing and this is what it is pulling through and now we need to just get the map working so let's go back to our pods okay edit the pods and start playing around with html content so let's just check let's make sure we can enable embed and let's click save file and save pod and let's come back to our single directory and just click refresh and then we want to come here and let's see if we can find map on here it should come up it's not coming up it's quite a tricky thing to try and get this to work um let's try this edit um Save this field, save pod. Let's just make sure we edit the directory and that there's actually some information in here. So let's just um, go to Google Maps, find a map, share that content, copy it, and then update. And let's just refresh. Okay, that's not coming through. Let's refresh again. There's your map and update. Now let's go here and you'll notice that it doesn't work. So what I found does work is if we come back to our pods and we now click edit and then we change this to code syntax. Click save, save pod. Now come back to your listing, just refresh your listing and make sure you pop in that code again. Click update and then refresh here and your map pops up. So it's a bit of a tricky way of getting around it, but there is a way of around getting that there. Okay, so I wondered why it said opening times, opening times. It's simply because I put opening times. So let's rather say 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Update and refresh. And there we go. So this um, looks pretty much like this layout here. All we need to do is um, simply just style it a little bit more, change a bit of spacing. Um, what I did with the map to make it um, full width there is I just came into it and then I found the iframe and then I changed the width here to 100% and I clicked update. And there you go. So that just looks a bit better. So now we can also change the spacing here. So let's look at changing spacing and making it better. So here is this, so I will change it to about 30. Um, and your advanced block, you can come and spacing settings, just make that a little bit smaller, update. And there we go. Okay, so that is the process of using pods with Cadence to build your custom post types. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, then be sure to drop them in the comments below and share anything that you create with pods and Cadence.